How long ago uh, did you start the company? Uh, about 21 or 22 years ago at this point. What was the original idea? It's really a simple idea. If you're an incredibly successful entrepreneur, could be building a business for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and then you sell the business, you think that uh, it's the magic moment when you sell it. But actually what happens is the day after you sell it, you have a lot of money, but you might be alone. You might might have an assistant, but you don't have a thousand employees. You don't have anybody laughing at your jokes anymore. You might even have to get your own coffee. And everybody around you thinks that you're wealthy and successful, but you've lost the platform that allowed you to feel successful. And all of a sudden you're back at a new point. And the number one challenge that you have is to be a wealth preserver so you don't lose what you've made except that you don't know anything about preserving wealth. What you are is a great entrepreneur or a great leader or a great manager, and you're good at inspiring troops, but you don't have any troops anymore. So you have this dramatic shift, and uh, it turns out that what it takes to be a great entrepreneur might qualify you to be a mediocre investor. When you're an entrepreneur, you focus on a single opportunity, you're highly emotional about it. You, uh, you give it everything you can. When you're an investor, you have to be more dispassionate. You have to have a diversified portfolio and you have to, have, you have to be unemotional about it. So the sum of it all is that there's a little understood transition which a few very lucky, very successful people get to go through. And we wanted to study that, which is what we've done over the last 21 years to help people in that transition uh, get through it and on to a better place. When you originally started the business, what was the, uh, like, what was the product? Was it like YPO where it was a monthly group meetup? What, what was it? Sure. So uh, you mentioned YPO, which is a fantastic organization. There's another similar organization called Vistage, and they both are for CEOs. And uh, if those are the great colleges we're the one great graduate school. And so we have a lot of YPO members that graduate into uh, Tiger 21 and a lot of Vistage members that graduate into Tiger 21. Uh, and just to give you an idea, the, uh, the vi I, t uh, last time I looked, both Vistage and uh, YPO have about 50,000 members globally. It might be 60 now. I've Wait, lost touch. Vi vi Vistage has 50,000 members? No, and YPO each. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's about 30,000 each, I think. Could be a little more. I haven't looked that's in a, a couple of years. That's a huge company. Oh, these are huge businesses, sure. Because Vistage charges like 50 grand a year, right? Or 25 uh, I think, grand a year? I think, I think Vistage is around 15,000 or 18. I don't have the exact number. Could be 20. YPO doesn't have a single price because depending on whether you go on the uh, trips and uh, there's different people pay different amounts, but the big difference between those two, which are great organizations, is YPO is self-facilitated by its members, whereas Vistage and also Tiger 21, our groups are led by professionals. We, we have over 100 groups around the globe now, and uh, so we have a cadre of over uh, 40 professional chairs, might be 60, excuse me, 60 professional chairs that we've trained exquisitely to lead these incredible groups. But the bottom line is that those are the two great organizations for CEOs and business owners. And when you decide as a rule for life that you want to get off of the merry-go-round, for whatever reason, uh, the next decision point is best uh, focused on with peers that you'll find in Tiger 21. So basically, the original premise, and you can tell me if that's still the premise, is you... Um you have a, a, a small group of peers. I don't know how big the group is. You can tell me. 12, 12 to 15 people. So 12 to 15 people. And you meet of some type of cadence, like four or some weeks. Monthly. Full monthly. day a month. And you have a coach or uh, what do you call your coaches? Facilitators. You have chair. a facil They're the chair. You have a chair who leads these discussions. And yeah. what was the original fee? And what was the requirements? Um, the original organization 20 years ago 
started with people who had created net worths of between 10 million and 100 million. And very quickly, the top end exploded with success. Uh, so it grew to a billion dollars. And wow. um, more recently, we've realized that our focus is on members between 20 million and a billion. And uh, what I was going to say is the main difference between uh, Vistage and YPO and Tiger 21 is the average net worth of Vistage and YPO members is probably maybe a tenth of that or fifth of that of Tiger. Or if you do the math, we have uh, $140 billion under management. We don't manage it. Our members manage it by themselves. We're not a money manager, but collectively, uh, we have about uh, 12, a little under 1,200 members. So it's a little over $100 million per member. That's crazy. So, and what's the price now? Uh, the membership is about $33,000 a year. That's, that's, we, we try and have a kind of one price. So the only thing you pay is a single membership fee uh, unless you come to the annual meeting. There's lots of other events that are included but because there's hotels and all that kind of stuff, if you come to the annual meeting, there's an additional charge of a couple grand. So I, uh, I, I can't do the math in my head, but like that's like over a hundred million in revenue. So these are like no, 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 no. So it's about a thousand. It's very, it's a very simple business model. It's about twelve hundred people that are paying a little more than thirty thousand dollars. So it's about thirty-five or forty million dollars. Oh, and I thought you said twelve thousand members. No, my bad. Twelve hundred. And, uh, and that's what it costs to run. That's crazy. And what's crazy is 20, 10 million today is a, lot, is a significant amount of money. 20 years ago, 10 million was obviously a significant more than it is right. now. How, right. do you, how did you find your first folks? So I was in a Vistage group, uh, which had about 15 members. And in a dramatically weird coincidence in 1998, uh, six of us sold, five or six of us sold our businesses. We were all in that Vistage group because we were business owners trying to be better managers, owners, CEOs. And uh, we loved the group. And so after our businesses were sold, we didn't want to leave the group. But we found over about a six month period, we were going to meetings trying to figure out how to make your CFO and your sales team and your production more efficient, but we didn't have that anymore. We were just business, we had sold our businesses. So I frankly uh, said, wow, I'd like to be spending time with peers, but what I wanna be learning is how they're going through this transition of becoming a wealth manager and how they can help each other be more successful managing through that uh, transition. And that was the roots of Tiger 21. 